Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, community college dropout. I don't need no book learning! And world-renowned fly fishing expert and guide. And today I'm gonna to be taking three bait fishermen out and teaching them the basic philosophies and methodologies of the greatest sport, pastime, and religion in the world. Fly fishing. The Real Adventures of Fly Fishing Expert, Hank Patterson. Your fly fishing guide. They say that there is nothing better than taking a guy out and teaching him how to catch a fish on a fly rod for the very first time. Which is a bunch of crap because it's a lot better, frankly, to just go out and catch a fish on your own. I mean, teaching you guys how to fly fish doesn't even come in a close second. Now, that being said, I want to welcome each and every one of you gentlemen to Hank Patterson's Fly Fishing Academy. Give yourselves a hand. Good job, good stuff, big decisions. All right, now uh, to sort of get things started here, why don't we kick it around the group and talk a little bit about why you choose to, to be here today. Darren, we'll start with you. I didn't choose it, my wife made me be here. I'd rather be up on the lake trolling. All right, great. Kevin? Uh, I don't know, I guess you could say I've always been a little fly curious. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm fly curious too. Yeah, and hey, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, Aaron? I think we're all a little bit fly curious. I'm not. Look, here's the thing. We all started out as bait fishermen. I mean, when I was little, my dad used to take me out all the time. He was a master bait fisherman. When I turned 13, we went down there. We were fishing a little bit, and I look out in the river, and there's this gal. She's out there fly fishing. And, uh, you know, I started to get a little fly curious. Right? My dad said, hey, no son of mine is going to be a fly fisher, all right? And that night I went home and I told my mom, I said, hey, you know, mom, I, I think I'm a little bit fly curious. And she said, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't tell your father. And the rest is history. Lesson number one, catch and release. Now, in fly fishing, what we typically do is we catch the fish and then we release the fish. Any questions so far? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? I know it's a tough thing to sort of wrap your mind around, Aaron, but let me explain it like this. We catch the fish, and then we let the fish go. Into a cooler. No, 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 uh -uh, no, back into the water. On a stringer. No, no, it's like this. You catch the fish, right, and then you carefully remove the fly from the fish's mouth, get a quick picture of yourself with it, and then you let the fish go back into the river. Well, then how the hell you eat them? We don't eat them. You don't eat them, you just, you let them go. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, so that, you know, you can come back maybe the next day and catch the fish again, or maybe you come back next week and catch the fish again, or that maybe gives somebody else a chance to come back and catch that fish. So you catch the same fish over and over again? Yeah. So you're just into torturing fish? Is that it? No, God, no. You feel like a big man torturing fish? No, it's not about torturing fish. It's about letting the fish live, right? So it can have a nice, healthy, happy life and get bigger. Oh, fattening them up. Oh, you keep them when they're big and fat. It's better eating. No, we don't even keep them when they're big. Why the hell would you catch a fish and not keep it? Because fly fishing is all about getting out here and enjoying yourself, all right? It's about the nature and surrounding yourself, and it calms the nerves, Kevin. You know what calms my nerves? Barbecuing fish. Smashing a fish on a rock. Eating eyeballs. Oh. You know, probably the biggest difference between you bait fishermen and us fly fishers is, fly fishers just aren't elitists. I mean, you bait fishermen are always so full of yourselves. You're in it for the vanity and the ego. Right? You have to have your special name brand fishing pole. And you have to have your special $35 fishing shirt that matches your fishing jeans. Like you just walked out of a Walmart catalog. You're always looking down your noses at us fly fishers like we're a bunch of knuckle dragon cavemen with your special styrofoam nightcrawler cups. Oh, and you all have your little tackle purses, and they're perfectly organized. You got a section for your hooks, a section for your rapalas, and a section for your marshmallows. You got a section for your canned corn. You got a section for your WD-40. You got a section for your gummy bears. You got 15 different types of powered bait, all color coordinated, like a collection of nail polish. Always drinking your imported Coors Light, your craft brew Budweiser. Yeah, I think you're so special. 
Hey, do you think these boots go with these waders? Lesson number three, flies. Now in fly fishing, we use those. That's an artificial fly. We tie those out of like foam and yarn, like old rubber bands and you know fur and stuff like that. Anything that'll make it look like a real bug. Mine doesn't look like a real fly at all. Well, it does if you're a fish. Why? Because, you know, fish have really bad eyesight. You ever go swimming in a pool and you keep your eyes open? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, and that chlorine gets in there, right? And it starts to shrivel them up, makes it really hard to see. Yeah, yeah same thing for a fish. I mean, think about it. A fish is underwater 100% of the time, right? And they don't have eyelids. They just have the eyelashes, so they can never close their eyes. That chlorine is always getting in there and burning up their cornucopias. That makes sense. Hey, Hank. I don't think I can put much power bait on this hook. Uh, no, we don't put powered bait on the hook, Kevin. Okay. Is that, is it, is it soaked into the fly already? This one doesn't smell. I think this fly is defective. Doesn't stink at all. Hey, Hank, what if I got like a real grasshopper? and put it on with the fake grasshopper. No, God, no. You gotta use a fake grasshopper. It's fly fishing, Kevin. I would think a real grasshopper would work better because it's real. Uh, yeah, no, it would, but this is fly fishing, okay? And half of the enjoyment is tying a fly artfully so that it looks like a real bug. Well, I'd rather catch a fish with a real grasshopper and sitting at home making some arts and crafts project tying a fly. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna make sculpture of a fly with power bait. That's, that's artsy. Rainbow power bait with glitter, that's creative. Oh my God, I hate you guys.